Hello, all you sexy cinephiles out there. It's mm. me, Mike, and he, Glenn. Oh, it is I. It is him. With a uh, Keystone Film Review trailer reaction for the Snyder Cut Justice League official mm-hmm. trailer that is going to be re- released on only HBO Max, I believe. I don't believe they're doing a theater release at all. Yeah. Which is probably smart, but also stupid. Yeah. It's a, it's it's a, it's a it's a really weird thing going on. It with is this. a really There's weird a lot thing. A lot of stuff going on with this. We've talked about it plenty. Yeah. Before before we start this, Glenn, mm-hmm. what is your thought on the whole Snyder League? Snyder League. Um, <laughs> Snyder <laughs> cut Snyder Just, League. Justice League. Um, that's actually debate. not a bad name for it. The Snyder League. Um, yeah. As far as I'm concerned, there's just too much going on, at least from the news. We've talked about this on the podcast, obviously, Mm -hmm. but there's just so much going on with it that it was just such an overwhelming process until this lead up of it coming out. I could, I'm over it, but I'm willing to give it a chance to see if it is better than uh, Joss Whedon's um, interpretation of it. But Yeah, um, Joss Whedon getting a lot of... uh hate in the getting a lot of hate rightfully so he seems like a creep from Mm -hmm. what i've read from where dc was going and uh, any dc fans who are watching this i'm sorry this is just our opinions and it it is what it is if it makes you feel better sorry go ahead you're good no i was just if it makes dc fans feel better i feel the same way about marvel Mm -hmm. i just don't care about superhero movies anymore i'm i'm over them in general as a genre so um yeah, I just I think they, I think DC now that they're p- going to be past this part, which I mean the the movie hasn't even come out yet. It was going to be episodes, but now it's a whole movie. Yeah, I think once they get past this, they have free reign of taking it easy, taking it how they need to take it, and hopefully they will do this. Yeah. Um, but I mean from here, I mean we should just watch it, watch yeah. the movie when it comes out, and go from there. Um, so. The opinions might change. It might be yeah. the most fantastic thing in the world. Who Where knows? I, I'm going to go in with every, uh, like I do with every superhero movie, I'm going to mm-hmm. go in with an open mind, but yeah. also not expecting much. Because yeah. uh, that way, I won't be disappointed. I'll just have my expectations met. Exactly. Um, and I, I do think it's smarter that they changed it from a mini series to a movie. I think that's a smarter move. Yeah, um, for sure. But uh, without any further ado, I think we should get started. Absolutely. You ready? All right. I am ready. Get ready to hit play in three, two, one. Uh, That's a pretty strong orgasm there. He's definitely feeling the tingles. (laughs) (laughs) Is it supposed to be four by three or? I'm assuming. I don't know. Right from the bat, we're getting a whole lot of new footage here. Yeah. Well, the four different scenes. Almost like a premonition. I think there's an attack coming. And there's I Dark Side. This one will fall. There's that cool Amazon I sequence warriors. that I like in the first one. I'm building an alliance to defend ourselves. How do you know your team's strong enough? If you can't bring down the charging bull, then don't wave the red cape at it. That was a great line, actually. Yeah. You were sent here for a reason. And even if it takes you the rest of your life, find out what that reason is. <laughs> Buff Cavill. Heroes will never come again. It will. It has to. 
see the uh, the black suit for Superman there at the end as well? I we did. We live in a society where honor is a distant memory. Isn't that right? Batman. What happened to those tattoos? Alright, so obviously... What happened to those tattoos? That's what I want to know. Well, it is the dream sequence. That whole th sequence there from the first, I think the first Justice League was, it was a dream sequence for Batman. So that whole thing might be different. Um, gotcha. Did he say, first off, there's there's the Leto's Joker there. Definitely looks different. Def definitely doesn't look like the uh, Suicide I, Squad. I like the character design better than the Suicide Squad one. Yeah, but did he um, say we live in a society? Yeah. Isn't he supposed to be like all anti-society? I just wasn't, I wasn't. Uh, ready for that line we live in a society yes yeah. we do yes we do joker congratulations <laughs> on that <laughs> um uh, I, honestly it looks like every other freaking superhero movie trailer i've seen it yeah it again if, if if kudos to dc fans who have harped on warner brothers to release the snyder cut to the point mm -hmm. where they release the snyder cut i am never not going to applaud that because yeah. that just shows the the power of fandom uh, but I am, I, it, it, this is just me with superhero movies in general. They don't impress me anymore. They're all mm -hmm. the same thing over and over and over and over and over and over again. There's only so many times the world can be in danger where it no longer becomes interesting. Yeah. Especially with people our age who are just like, the world ending is like a joke. It's to just us now. always an existential crisis. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, um, so yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm 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 not excited for it. I'm glad other people are excited for it, but yeah, on, it doesn't do anything end, for me. It's there's a lot of new footage there that looks really cool. I will, uh, I'll agree. Yeah. Um, hopefully, it does make the film better as far as the plot and everything, the characters. Yeah. Um, because the Joss Whedon version was a huge. Uh, I, w I wouldn't say let down for me going into that one i kind of assumed it was going to be bad just because of all the other films weren't exactly that great mm -hmm. again my opinion um and i'm a dc fan so it's it's rough um but i feel like it can only kind of go up from here oh absolutely so, it's definitely going to be better than the yeah. joss whedon so justice as long league. as i as long as i go in with the bar set for just just whedon's justice league i can hopefully it can hopefully be above that and that's yeah. that's kind of what we're all really hoping here so uh, yeah. hopefully fingers crossed uh tongue tying a uh, cherry stem whatever lucky things are in my pocket oh look uh a leprechaun's coins bada bing bada boom <laughs> when is this gonna come out <laughs> i i don't know when does it come out but, yeah I, well soon Soon. really soon yeah. on hbo honestly i thought it came out already i thought it came out in november until mm -hmm. i heard people talking about the trailer and i was like oh yeah. i guess it didn't come out yeah. so, so that just shows you how uh disassociated with it i am um yeah so hopefully hopefully it'll be good i mean the trailer looked pretty good the, f the footage looked great uh dark side so there's definitely going to be a little bit more dark side than there was in the original um yeah and stefan wolf and a little bit of joker randomly in there yeah but uh also i'm fairly certain that you sent us like one that was formatted for instagram because that yeah there was we were on Twitter. ign's we were on ign's yeah. uh youtube yeah because it was four by three i'll hopefully find the uh 16 by nine or 2.35 yeah i'm sure it's uh, out there yeah it's, it's got to be out there uh but yeah i don't really have anything else to say yeah, it, uh, I, I i don't want people to be disheartened by what i'm saying i am not the audience for this movie mm -hmm. so take everything i say with a grain of salt it's just yeah. not it's not I, my thing i'm definitely more of the audience than my kids yes sure. yes you are <laughs> but, uh, but uh let's yeah. all other dc fans let's be fingers crossed and let's go fingers crossed this. yeah uh but yeah get, uh, is that everything you got or that's everything i got all right thanks everybody for watching you can check out our website keystonefilmreview.com you can follow us on all the socials you can check those out mm -hmm. below and stay tuned we are going to have our first annual 2021 stone well this, that, it's not going to continue to be 2021 first yeah. annual stony awards nominations <laughs> coming early april with the week following being because we're not going to hype it up for a month it's the yeah. following week we're going to announce the winners so the first annual stony awards coming in april Definitely goodbye everybody. oh yeah goodbye bye-bye